in Saudi Arabia, you, you can't have regular television. I mean, you have Saudi television, but you have satellite. And all the young guys, they don't have sex, but they have satellite. <laughs> <laughs> and, and they love you because you're that, a reverend yeah, and yeah, so yeah. on. Yeah. There is another show, however, that encourages people to join the Taliban. Oh, is that right? That's called The View. Ah. <laughs> It's Thursday, December 9th, coming up live on The View. They're fighting the good fight in Hot Topics, from how Hollywood is helping to battle terrorism, to whether Katie's hurting her brand by taking hubby Russell's last name. <laughs> Plus, before Barbara takes over primetime tonight, she's giving you an exclusive sneak peek at some of her 10 most fascinating people, and her riveting, revealing sit-down with Oprah. Tissue, please. Then, Seth Green's telling you why so many celebs are following him on Twitter and how he's joining forces with George Lucas for the next Star Wars saga. And the R&B superstar who ruled the radio this summer, Trey Songz, is back to make this season sizzle when he sings his latest hit, Can't Be Friends. All that, Hot Topics and more, coming up live on The View. top of the show was from Barbara's appearance on Letterman last night, yeah. talking about the U.S. State Department cable that claimed one of the biggest things keeping young Saudis away from terrorist groups are American movies and TV shows like Letterman. Yeah. Friends and Desperate Housewives was oh, the other one. Desperate. But Barbara, what else went on? With David Letterman? Yeah, there? David Letterman and your I, life. I, what do you I, do? I happen to love David Letterman. Yes, I know. And he's, and he's very good to me. Yes. So, uh, well, mostly I was on to talk about my specials, which I haven't even mentioned to yeah, either of you. Yeah, what's wrong Yeah. Because it's <laughs> night. Wait. It's night. It is Thursday. Thursday, Thursday, Thursday. So Thursday. The big Tonight. hand just went like this, this much on my watch. This much. Go ahead. Okay. So, <laughs> so I have no shame. I know. But I, but they happen to be very good specials. They are. One of them, from nine to ten, is Oprah, the right. next chapter, right. because yeah. Oprah, and in just a couple of weeks, uh, her new station, her new network, right. begins. And so we did a very personal interview. It's on the front page of the New York Post. Oprah crying. That's the Daily News, baby. The Daily News. Yeah. <laughs> More Zuckerman will kill me. Okay, the Daily News, and inside, there's a whole thing, and and with Oprah saying, I am not a lesbian, which was, I asked her about Gail King and, and Stedman, and she said, I'm not a lesbian, why would I hide it? And she said, what's the line that she said that uh, they're sort of, I'm, 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 not, I'm, I'm not even a little bit little of a lesbian. Bit. Yeah. Kind, I'm not even kind of a lesbian. I'm not even kind of a lesbian. Kind of a lesbian. So <laughs> what I thought, and then from 10 to 11 right. is 10 most fascinating people produced by our own Bill Getty. So I'm just going to give you, these are how, the way, uh, and I'll talk to you a bit, yeah, but yeah. these are the way both of the programs open to give you a little, a little taste, taste. a little soup salt. Okay, first yes. Oprah, okay? Nobody else could do this with me but you. The send-off interview. It's time. To try something totally new. I would wake up in the middle of the night, <gasps> like clutching my chest, like what have I done? Woman to woman, sharing secrets. I am so glad I didn't get married. Really? Talking intimately of love. Tissue, please. I now need tissue. And family. Here's a picture of me. Your mother, do you see her? Um. And the truth about her closest relationships. Let's just add to that lesbian rumor. 25 years building to this moment. Two. It's the fullest of the circles that I started because of you, and now you do this interview. That's very, and we, go, we go back a long way, and there's really almost nothing that we didn't talk about. Mm -hmm. I, you know, I feel like I'm kind of you a go lesbian. Back do you feel? Yeah. <laughs> 
I feel like I'm kind of lesbian. I just want to say that because I was interested to hear what she had to say about what she meant by a kind of lesbian. Because, I mean, I can put up shelves, but they'll be crooked. So that's kind of lesbian. Well, I guess what she was saying is I don't have lesbian <laughs> tendencies. And, and what she said is the reason why the rumor irritates me is because it means that somebody must think I'm lying. That's number one. And number two... Why would you want to hide it? That's not the way I run my life. So, you well, know. you know, Oprah's <laughs> always been an open book, but it's 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 right. very interesting that you can't have a very close relationship with a woman. You share your hopes and dreams. I mean, she she cried uh, talking about Gail, and people would put they feel like they have to put that label on you. Well, because they see them so much together. And then we talked about you know she travels with her, they go on trips together. But what I didn't know, what we talked about, is how strong the relationship with Stedman still is. Right. Uh, you know she even well never mind. They live together. Right. Uh, he is her lover, her love, everything she says. I didn't know that. I thought it was you know just a friendship. Anyway. That's Oprah, and that's right. 9 to 10 tonight. And 9 then, to 10 tonight. 9 to 9. Thank, nine you, to 10 uh, tonight. thank you, Whoopi. Yes. And 10 to 11, we've been doing this for 18 years. The 10 most fascinating people. You're going to make a joke? No. 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 <laughs> Let's start I'm waiting for you to set it up first. <laughs> I'm setting it up. Knock it down. Okay, so I'm setting it up. <laughs> it. And your favorite Sarah Palin oh, is, oh, yeah. I knew you'd be thrilled. What books she is she reading? That's what she told you, right? That's what she talked about. First, Guns and Ammo, that's one. <laughs> That's a magazine, Why babe. Why am I Whatever. giving you that opportunity? <laughs> anyway, this is, <laughs> this is how this... A little taste of 10 Most Fascinating People. Do you mind when people touch you and push you and kiss you? Yeah, I'm going to be honest. Sometimes, sometimes it's, like, too much, and I get kind of claustrophobic. Many people find the thought of you as president a little scary. Why is that? So we have put you on our list of the most fascinating people of the year. Do you think you're fascinating? I think I'm fascinating, yeah. <laughs> American Idol. I've always loved the show. I've always been a huge fan of the you show. You watch? Oh, yeah. I just have a sense that I know things are going to go bad, so enjoy the moment right now. At 88 and a half years old, does one still have sex? If one gets lucky, I bet they do. And she's the oldest, and, and Justin Bieber at 16 is the youngest. You had to go for that little half, though, 88 and a half. 88 and a half, okay. <laughs> a half. So, your friend Sarah Palin. Oh, yeah. So, we asked her the question that uh, got her in trouble when, when uh, Katie Couric said, what do you read, and she didn't seem to be able to answer it. So, now she did. Want to hear what she says? She said, I am reading Dean Canas's book about an ultra-marathoner. She said, I read a lot of C.S. Lewis when I want some divine inspiration. Uh, C.S. Lewis was... C.S. Yep. Uh, Lewis? He did, well, he did write some good He did, but... He wrote some children, but he wrote some good He really some good was adults. one of the... But it's a, he was argu arguably <laughs> the most influential Christian writer of the day. Yeah, uh, he, he is it's considered an intellectual giant. I mean, yes. these... With a book, she, she also said she reads the Wall Street Journal, she reads the local papers, and she said because of that one episode, that is, answer, with Katie, yeah, right. because of that one episode, that would turn into an issue in what has become the biggest issue of the last few years. Why is that happening? Why has the media done that so on? Why did she so. leave off one very important book off her list, Barbara? Your paperback of audition. I don't understand why she would leave that off of her list. Elizabeth, you have the job. I happen to have it right here. She seems to forget. Next year, the most an audio fascinating version. person is going to be Elizabeth <laughs> Hasselhoff. By the it. way, I want you to guess. Well, I know Sarah has read Sheets of Cockapoopo, My Kind of Dog. <laughs> I know she's read that. And George Bush, too. But, okay, so the, the, and the, is most, it just me? the most fascinating person, yeah. we keep a secret. David Letterman, I almost guessed it. Want to make did? a guess? Yeah. Do you yeah. want us to try and guess? Yeah, try and guess. The most fascinating. Okay, so it's Who not would you President pick? Obama. No, he last was year it was Michelle year. Obama. Was the most and it's Michelle none of those Obama. that we just saw. No, because we keep it a secret. Yeah. Is it a reality star? No, you have to make... I'm, we're not playing 20 questions is here. It, is it, <laughs> it sounds like two is words. Is it that WikiLeaks guy, Assange? He's fascinating. No? She's looking at me. Maybe no, it is I'm him. I'm not going to tell you anything. I just am so Oh, you just wanted to so guess. guess. Yeah, if you came close, I might not. Oh, I see. Political person... Uh, the witch lady, the, the Christina O'Donnell? Well, you know what? 
We could be here all day trying to figure out who that last person is. But the truth is, uh, Barbara's special Oprah, the next chapter airs tonight at 9 p.m. Eastern, followed by her 10 most fascinating people of 2010 at 10 o'clock here on ABC. Barbara, but Joy, yeah. tell everybody what you're going to well, be tonight, doing Friday night. Well, tonight I'm going to be getting an award from AARP. Don't laugh. <laughs> That's nice. <laughs> because my daughter awesome. and I are getting it because we are uh, promoting the fact that women are the... Uh, the leading cause of death amongst women is heart disease. Right. So we're promoting that, and that's what this is about. Congratulations. Thank you. Yeah. And then tomorrow night, thank you. <laughs> tomorrow night I will still be in Washington, mm -hmm. and I happen to have been invited to the Christmas party at the White House. Oh. Yeah. I told this already. But, and I know it's a legitimate, um, you know, invitation because the Salahis told me <laughs> it definitely is true I'm going. But I am going, and I'm excited but about it. But you know, so listen, had a when I have like gone that. to the White House, you all make fun of me because you say I steal something. You do. So no, no, you've got many things. So you are going tonight. You're going to be all dressed up, looking wonderful. What yes. are you going to take for us? Um, oh, is he going to steal something? Pictures? Well, first of all, should I wear this outfit tonight? No. What do you think? No. No, you hate it? I, I don't hate it, but it's not for the AARP. It's business attire. Oh, yes. oh, I it was no, 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 to the White House, I should wear something more stunning. Blitz, a little. Right. Yeah. Okay, but it's black. It's now, are you, what is it? Do you uh, want Sherry and I to black. hang on both sides of you? Like this? Yeah, yeah that's true. Right. Right. <laughs> I'd love to go. But oh, now, my God, wait, wait. Is that oh! Prince? Today. Well, first of all, these are strange hours for rock stars. <laughs> um, I'm in New York, and uh, yes, you are. <laughs> love you, Prince. Love you back. <laughs> all right. You're gonna be at Madison Square Garden. Okay. Square Garden. Wow. We have a, a wonderful series of concerts we're doing here with a, a whole array of special guests and. A band that plays like a jackhammer. You gotta come check it out. When, when, when? December 18th, Saturday, 7:30 p.m. is where we're gonna check it out. That's right. Hey, Prince, could you could you just say, Sherry, I love you? Thank you. Sherry, I love you. Thank you. Justin Bieber. He said, and we said, you know, how do you know that, you know, that this is not, that you're going to have a career in the future? And he said, what I hope is that I can be like Prince. Wow. Plus, he wants to be able to be someone who's going to last, right? And he yeah, wants and to be able to play the you instruments. You play all the different instruments, right, right, right. and you sing, and you write your own songs. You are his idea of the consummate performer. Uh, performer. Yeah. Well, that's the key, the, um, longevity. Yeah, the key to longevity is to learn every aspect of music that you can, and I hope that he does pick up an instrument and get a good teacher. Wow. You're charming. Well, thank you. Thank, thank you. Thank you. You know uh, what? You, you, you just look wonderful. Oh, you know you. Oh. I'm, I'm going to leave you all. I haven't had breakfast yet, so. Can I have your gloves? Can I no, have you your gloves? No, you can't. He's... <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. you don't understand, Prince. Thank you. I have wanted to make love to you for my whole life. I'm sorry. Now he's leaving. He's scared. Thank you. That's good. Yeah, that's right. He's also here because of his affection for Whoopi. Wow. Whoopi.
Murphy. Wow. Well, so, I have like sat on this. Tickets. I have been sitting on this secret for well, a well. couple of days because he wanted to come and, and you know, he's ve he's uh, he's very shy. Number one. Um, and his his way of communicating is with the music. Yes. And so for him to come and do this, he wanted to present the tickets himself and let folks know that the shows are going to happen at Madison Square Garden. Wow. And uh, so, but he didn't want anyone to know. And so Thank this you, morning Bobby. we told Barbara, that this morning I said, please don't say shocking. nothing, please. Yeah. And you so he came. Secret. Yes, Thank I do. you. Yeah. Gosh, That's so wonderful. And you know what? We'll be back with even more <laughs> hot topics. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Us is the Queen of England. Oh. <laughs> you can't I mean, top what that. Else, you right? never know. Listen, wow. that's what's so great about the View. Okay, you just don't know what's going to happen. We talk about the wildest stuff, and people, you know, folks can keep trying to, to to emulate what gets done. But the fact is, we do do it well. And Barbara and Joy, since y'all started, I direct this to you. Y'all set up a really high standard, and you we try to follow. Yourself, yeah. Kiddo. Yeah. Thank you. made it official. She says from now on she is Katie Brand, taking her husband Russell Brand's last name. Now, people are all a flutter about this because they can't figure out if it's a good idea. Well, you know, it's, I think it's very cool that you have a woman who's saying I want to take on everything about this man, mm -hmm. including his name. I'm an old-fashioned girl because a lot of us don't do not do that. Mm -hmm. And she's saying I want to take it all on. She kind of comes from that very sort of traditional family too. What does to take it all on uh, about her? Because traditionally Maybe he is, in his maybe own he way. is, but she is she is, you know, an old fashioned girl. And traditionally the woman takes the man's but name. Do you know what you should do? Although it's not necessarily you have to hyphenate. Like Oh, years ago, Farrah Fawcett hyphen major. major. Until she got divorced, right. and you just and after, after the hyphen, you drop Everybody it Everybody who, who does the hyphenation seems like they get a divorce. Yeah. <laughs> so, it's it's, it's, the easy, hyphen it's that easy to it. take yeah. off the other I hyphen. have so many names. You know, my name be this long. <laughs> Yours is long. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. You could you even, have two marquees. Not even Parker. your real name. Yeah, Eva yes. Longoria Parker, now yeah. it's Eva Longoria. I had hyphenated yeah. mine for a minute, but it was so long it didn't fit on the screen whenever I did it. What was it? It was Sherry Shepard hyphen Tarpley, and I'm divorced. <laughs> so yeah. it's the hyphen. No that's hyphen. the hyphen. Don't put the don't hyphen. The hyphen. You Go all the way. The so maybe yeah. the hyphen is a sign of something. Yeah. something and I think hyphen. we have to teach our young men this. Elizabeth, yes. you were showing us a must-see video oh. of the, the most fabulous oh. baby. He's not a baby this anymore. Is Isaiah. Isaiah this morning. Isaiah. Tell everybody. Just because, I'm not sure why, but this is what he does. This if you want my random mother moment of the day. He's up at, like... 4 a.m. doing this. <laughs> in the shoes that Whoopi gave me. Those are the shoes. He loves your shoes, Whoopi. Well, in... Go... 3.59. Yeah, yeah, goggle? goggle. Yeah, at 3.59 in the morning. This is goggles. in the morning? And glittery shoes from Whoopi. Walking around Elizabeth wanting to do this. Elizabeth is very sleep deprived. <laughs> She's not sleeping. This kid and wakes up. And I love up. it that Elizabeth gets up, flips him, and goes back to bed. No, yeah. I'm, I'm up. Flipping up. him from 3. Flipping him off because he's up at 4 a.m. But he's up <laughs> way too early, so I just I thought I'd yeah, share that with you. sleeping, though, right? Yeah. Well, yeah, until about six. That's right. so cute. But it's well, fine. Yeah. Well, maybe he's, he's from another like planet. That. Maybe he's from he another, like planet. He's another planet. Yeah, because <laughs> scientists <laughs> scientists are saying uh, between new discoveries, the universe is three times bigger than they thought it was, and they found a, a new life form on Earth that lives in arsenic. Hmm. Now, evidence, oh. Oh. perhaps. Mm -hmm for life on other planets is, you know, it's coming more clear, more clear. But Does is, this give... Uh, go, go ahead. Yeah. yeah. Is, so is this a question? Is this a God question? <laughs> is this a human question? That was what I thought you were posing. Okay. Because what they've said is that it's not that there's going to be little ETs running around, mm -hmm. but they're going to be, you know, the, the most, you know, the, the micros, amoebic... Right. Uh, mic and, and probably just slime mud. But nevertheless, it's life. And what they say is they are counting on evolution over the thousands of years right. to get to something. So then if, you, if there's life on these other planets, did God do that? Or does that mean 
that maybe well, I don't want to go, but, but maybe people, there isn't. The people who believe in God will believe that He created that. It's yeah, why, 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 I would believe. Why are we limiting God? Because God never said that He didn't create life on other planets. So why can't we believe that God actually created that? But what if because God the, supposedly in Adam and Eve created a human form? But He, gave, but he created but the universe. He created the universe. You know, but, he, it, but also, I Genesis. mean, both are possible. You know, God Absolutely. accelerated what He needed accelerated, right. and you know, let everything else evolve as it's supposed to. So maybe both of them are married. Let's hope that it's all one and. And it feels good. But non-believers who say atheists are largely ignored in the U.S. have started a holiday billboard campaign for what they are calling the unfaithful. Now, I see this every day on my way to work. When, when I get to the other side, the other side of the tunnel, there's a billboard put up by the Christians celebrating the holidays. I'm so confused. <laughs> I don't know what to do. But that's I love why it. I the battle of the billboard. <laughs> Hanukkah, Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, or you just sign your name. That's well, the non-believers want equal time. That's all this is about, and they don't get it. They don't get yeah, it. No. And in fact, they get hostility. Yes. I mean, that's always a confusing thing to me. If you don't believe, why are people who believe so angry with you? They should feel sorry for you. We're, because uh, what the believers know where they're going. The atheists do not have any idea. Is they it? think this is it. And so, so why the angry with an atheist? But that's very interesting you that. say angry, because well, everybody I know is not angry. We just go, we're just going to pray for you. Oh, but I'm we, talking about the way people respond way. to the do press and everywhere else. Do you think you could ever have an atheist president? No way. No. Maybe and we already have this country. I bet we already have, maybe, and just don't know it. I, I think mean, something so. Barbara, I believe it's a huge... Wait, well, you say you think our president had, 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 had. at some point. I mean, yeah. maybe none of them okay. felt comfortable yeah, enough telling yeah. what they actually believed or no, didn't well, believe. All of, have, all of them have talked about their Christian faith. Well, have. I'm sure, because they want to vote. For me, I would... If, because... <laughs> I don't think we've had an atheist president. If I had... Because, you know, I've been given the right to vote and express my opinion. I would want somebody that has a faith, some kind of faith, because we go through so much. You got... An oil spill, you got unemployment, you got Why all of this litany. Because you know what? Sometimes it gets you through some stuff, Maybe. Barbara. You need Maybe faith. Absolutely. Let's, let's, let's talk about it. Let's say it. But here's the thing. You know, whatever you believe, send great vibes and hopes. And if you believe in prayer, send prayers to the one and only fabulous yeah, Aretha oh, Franklin, yeah. is so who is sad. reportedly, yeah. supposedly fighting pancreatic cancer. Yeah. You know, really, we love you. We love when you're here. Yes, yeah. Come back and see us, please. Now, Sherry, you are visiting one of my favorite places, where a place I've been many, many times. Yes, I will be on Sesame Street tomorrow. Yay. And my word is identical. I had such a good time. It's identical, so check your local listings. Oh, and I wanted to say, I'm wearing different hair. The airline delivered my oh, hair yeah. to my house. Thank you. Okay, bless you. Thank you, God. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> so, but Sherry, you're, you're actually not done, babe. Oh, no. oh, you know what? Home Goods is the place to find the... Oh. Princess on my mind is the perfect place to find Smelly the perfect gift. holiday gifts for everyone on your list at up to 60% less than department or specialty store prices. And members of our audience are going home with a $200 gift card. Yeah. days at just 13 years old. He's all grown up now, and he's gone on to star in hit movies like Austin Powers, as well as creating the successful animated hit Robot Chicken on Cartoon Network. Please welcome back Seth Green. Business is yes. that you are the congratulations are in order because you got married. I did. Congrats. Yes, congratulations. Uh, she did, yeah. She did take 
<laughs> well, she she took my name legally, but not professionally because she still acts. So. Oh, so her name is Claire Green. Green yeah. Mm -hmm. Claire wow. Green. What was her maiden name? Uh, well, uh, Grant was her. Yeah, professional. Claire Green. Grant Green. Yeah. That, yeah. Well, that she's works. Not hyphen no, hyphen. Yeah. no hyphen. No hyphen. No, no. It's no really hyphen. the kiss See, that's of death. Good news. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and I hear that she's a geek like you. Tell well, me about it. We both have really nerdy interests. Yeah, she likes fantasy books and superheroes and. Star Wars and stuff like That's that. That's good. So, and robot yeah. chickens. Yeah, she actually she actually liked our show before we met, so that was nice. Yeah. People forget when you get married, you need to have a few things in common. Yeah, it's true. You know, and then you can do things together. I think that's the most important thing. Yeah, Chris Rock said, uh, look, if you smoke crack, your wife's got to smoke crack. That's yeah. it. Crackhead go with crackhead. Yeah, no. It's true. <laughs> It's so true, though. It's so true. <laughs> Can I change the subject? Okay. Okay. <laughs> so you've been on stage pretty much since you were six, but when you were 13, you were on with Johnny Carson telling him where you see yourself in 10 years, and oh. we, have, we have that. Would you like to see what you I want? mean, I, I wouldn't, but you guys can. Well, do it anyway. <laughs> What would you like to be doing, say, 10 years from now when you're in your 20s or something? You still well, like I to be active? I know I'd like to be a little bit taller, if possible. <laughs> well, I'd like to be a little bit taller, I yes. think that'll probably happen. Nature will take care of that. But Yeah, um, if I'm not an actor, then I could always go into being a um, product designer at a toy company, or if not that, then a uh, comic book artist. I do a comic book with a friend of mine. Do you? Yeah, magic. Okay. Well, good for it's you. It's a great comic. Uh, 13. Yeah. 13. Yeah. too much. Didn't I get mean, much taller, asked, no. You know. no. But two of your dreams came true. Well, the nice thing is about the size, it didn't uh, hurt me getting married, and it didn't hurt Prince, so. There we go. <laughs> exactly. No, but two of your dreams, you wanted to be an actor or a cartoon. It's true. Uh, and you're doing the cartoon yes. thing, well, and yeah, you're an actor. I'm making a cartoon, I actually got to put out a comic with a friend of mine, and I get to make oh. movies and stuff, so. Yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. kind of amazing, yeah, I got no complaints. But it's not like it just all happened, she said. I mean, you've been working really hard at this. I think you yeah. know who you are. I mean, you won an Emmy. Congratulations Thank for you. Robot Chicken. <laughs> It's about to start its fifth season. Is it January 9th, right? And you've yeah. had Burt Reynolds, Christian Slater, Macaulay Culkin, Phyllis yeah. Diller. Yeah. Huge list of celebrities so far. Who is on your wish list? Uh, well, up? wish list is different, but this year, uh, for the upcoming season, we've gotten to have some really amazing people. Um, I, I got to bring Brian Greene and Megan Fox on for mm -hmm. fun and talk about them being star-crossed lovers that just can't stay apart. And then uh, my, my favorite one this season was Kevin Bacon. Um, Ken oh. Bacon, I'm a huge fan of his. I've never gotten to work with him, and I'm, I, as a character actor, it's hard to explain like just how important he is, but um, the most exciting thing is the six degrees of Kevin Bacon. Like, I closed the gap, and now I am, in fact, a conduit. So because, <laughs> because we've had so many actors on our show, I assure every actor that's been on our show, you're one degree from Kevin Bacon. There you go. Yeah. That's it. I know, it's exactly like right. this here. December 19th also, we gotta let everybody know we have a special coming out, and I'm yeah. sure your wife likes it, because it's Robot Chicken Star Wars Episode 3. Yeah. It's true. Fantastic. Yeah. Can you tell us a little bit about it in a second, but we do have a clip, so we're gonna show everybody oh, great. a bit of it. Como te llamas? Me llamo... Si? Sí? C-3PO. Si. Sí. Three p -yo. Bueno. No, no, C-3PO. Si, sí. three p -yo. Si? Si, 3PO. Si, mira, 3PO. No, I'm saying my name begins with the letter C. En este clase, hablas en español. ¿Entiendes? But... Siéntate. But... 3PO. Ándale, ándale. When they start to do action figures. I know. Have you... Look at this. Oh Tell us who they are. Wait a minute. I need a picture of you holding those. <laughs> That's too cool. Well, this, uh, this one is the one that I had from uh, Austin Powers, and this is the one from uh, Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Oh. All right, take it. There you go. Oh, my Barbara. gosh. Nice, you got it. That's, that's, that's incredible. You, you would be the first person to do that on the sofa, you know. Really? Take it well, I mean, this I is one of the photo. most exciting things in my Let's life. I'm a fan of toys, and I, I like toys a lot. So the fact that hey. I got made into oh toys, God. it's crazy. Well, well yet again, just another thing. <laughs> this is a skunk. Did you have a say in these at all? Did you have a say in these at all? Did you get to say what they look like? Did you have any? Well, being a fan of toys, I knew both of these companies before they manufactured them. So when they said they were going to make one of me, I was like, I'd like to talk to you guys about That's some right. of the details of it. Yeah. Now you got a picture of Barbara too. manhandling you. Exactly. <laughs> Forever for keeping.
keep, Seth, we really love you. You got to keep coming back. Congratulations <laughs> again, both in much. life and work. <laughs> Our thanks to Seth Green. You can catch Robot Chicken Star Wars episode 3 December 19th. When we come back, Trey Songz perform. Six hit singles on Trey Songz's last CD that was the soundtrack of the summer. And he is back with a new CD that is skyrocketing to the top of the charts. Here to perform Can't Be Friends off his new CD, Passion, Pain, and Pleasure. Please welcome Trey Songz. <laughs> Done cut me off my good, good love. She told me that those days were gone. Now I'm sitting here going half crazy. Cause I know she still thinks about me too. No faking it Maybe we were moving just a little too fast But what we done, what we done, what we done, what we done, what we done Can't take it back nah. And now I'm sitting here going half crazy Cause I know she still thinks about me too This is the first time that you met Prince backstage. Yes. How was that? Wow. It was. It was amazing, actually. They didn't tell me who I was meeting. Yeah. And I actually got a chance to perform in front of him at the BET Awards yes, recently. Did. So wow. I was kind of shocked a little bit, like taken back. I didn't know what to say. <laughs> I think everybody was a little yeah. bit. I think that's totally normal. You know, your songs are, by the way, you've had such a successful coming, and Thank I you. think it's outstanding. Um, most of your songs are fairly sexual in content, right? Yeah. So I think most, no one has any complaints about that, by the way, because they think you're... <laughs> 
They think you are very sexy. Do you see yourself as sexy as everyone else sees you? Oh, uh, well, I just... <laughs> it, had, it had to be addressed. Well, I just I just make the songs that the ladies want to hear. I, I, I sing to the women and I speak for the men. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I like that. Now, it's funny because the CD is it's called Passion, Pain, and Pleasure. Yeah. You say that that's your personal mantra. What, is, what does that mean? Well, I think those are emotions that we all go through at some point or another. And at this point in my career right now, I'm, I'm very passionate about what it is that I do. And... You know, taking in so much success and, and becoming more popular, you know, the sacrifices lead to pain of mm -hmm. not being able to spend time with my family or not doing normal things. And the pleasure is obviously living the dream, you know, yeah. performing on The View. Yeah, yeah. Sure. the pleasure is on the audience, for sure. You just were on tour with Jay-Z, right? Yes. And then you're about to tour with Usher, is that correct? I'm touring with Usher right, right now? now, currently. That's great. You yeah, like it? We're halfway through. Uh, oh. It's an amazing tour, the OMG tour. You can come check okay, us out. Okay, you singing Passion, Pleasure, Pleasure, Pain. He's singing, There Goes My Baby. It's a lot of women leaving <laughs> pregnant <laughs> from listening to you guys. With Eargasms, we call it. Eargasms. I've never heard that. That's great. Now, this song was talking about, you know, not getting the love of a friend. Is that something that you went through personally? Well, it's, it's, it's actually something that I feel everybody can relate to. One of my favorite songs on the album is it's basically just saying... After certain relationships, there's no way you can be friends with a, with a person. Like, whether it's a platonic relationship going into another place or you've just exhausted yourself within it, mm -hmm. you know, looking back at it and you can't be friends and it hurts. Yeah. Yeah, and to answer your question, I have been through Oh. 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 You've been through Love pain. It. You Love it. baby. Hey, so wait, quickly. You, obviously, Prince, one of your mentors probably in the business yeah. and, and role models. Who else? Uh, Prince, Michael, of course. Mm -hmm. uh, going on to uh, R. Kelly, a big influence of mine. Mm -hmm. uh, who else? Aretha Franklin, who yes. actually I saw that she performed this day last year. Yes, that, and, that's right. Yeah, she so uh, so many people. Marvin Gaye, Teddy yeah. Pendergrass, uh, Donny Hathaway. Uh, just on and on the list goes. Well, Trey, we thank you so much for stopping thank by. You. Thank You're you so, so busy, much so we me. love it. Thanks to the our audience. Thanks <laughs> to Trey Songz. Members of our studio audience are going home with a copy of Passion, Plain, and Pleasure. Yeah. We'll be right back. Sweetest man, you Thank really you are. So, much. so I want to tell you, in case you didn't know, that my special opera, the next chapter, is tonight at 9 p.m. Eastern. Immediately after is my 10 most fascinating people of 2010. Both right here. What are you cuddling up? What are you, kind of a lesbian? I like it. <laughs> if you haven't seen the show, you don't know what I mean. Anyway. Thanks to all of you. Have a great day, everyone. Take okay, a little so time thanks. to enjoy the long Barbara Walters talks with Oprah, then reveals the year's most fascinating people. Tonight, starting at 9, 8 central on ABC.